Hello and welcome. Let's jump right into it because we have a lot to get through in this video. The first thing I want to do is encrypt passwords. So we're going to have a const. I'm going to call it encrypt. Uh, PW password. So encrypt password is going to take in a password and it's going to return turn await. Oh, we better make this an async function equals async password if we're going to use await. So return await bcrypt. We're finally going to use bcrypt. And how does bcrypt work? bcrypt is going to hash us a password. So actually do bcrypt.hash uh, so we can hash this password. And what we want to pass it is password. That's the password to hash. And the next thing we want to do is give it a salt. So how heavily will we hash this I like to do it at 12, that's what's recommended. Um, as low as 10 is still recommended. Uh, the, if you put this up very high, it's going to take a very long time. So I suggest keep between 10 and 14 for now. I'm going to put this one at 12. And how are we going to get that password? We are going to const pw is going to equal encrypt password and we will pass it password. And now what we're going to put in here is password, but it's going to equal PW. So this new user will be created with an email and a password, but the password is this password now, the hashed password. That's exactly what we want to do. Great, so we've hashed our password and it was that simple. Now we want to create a signed JWT, a JSON web token that's signed, and then we want to send that token. So I think the first thing to do would be to sign the JWT. Uh, so const sign JWT. Okay, we'll take in the ID. Now the ID is a very simple thing. It's what's going to come back after we user.create. We're going to have a user. So new user dot ID. Well, and actually be dot underscore ID how they do their data. You could just do ID as well. New user dot ID is going to be the ID that we give to sign JWT. And we can do that right now. Let's just write sign JWT and pass it new user ID. Now, if we get a new user, it will have an ID attached to it. Otherwise, we'll get an error because we didn't create that new user. So here is the ID heading into the sign token. We're just going to return the jwt.sign. So that's a function on the JSON web token package that we imported. jwt.sign. And we're going to pass it an object just with the ID. And we're also going to give it a secret. Uh, we'll just call it jwt uh, secret. And after that, we have to give it a few options. And the only option we will actually give it is expires in. Now the expires in, we could say JWT uh, expires. Now we don't have either of these fields and I don't want to hard code them. I'd like them all to be in the same spot. So what I'll do is I'll put them in that dot n as variables. So we have the JWT secret and here's how that works. Go to your dot n is put your JWT secret after everything else and equal it out to a long string. You want this to be a fairly long string. Um, I'll make mine now. I bet no one can guess this super great secret. So you want to have a long string. Something like this is it's maybe not even long enough. So go ahead and get yourself a really good JWT secret so we can we can encode all of these JSON web tokens. Now we're going to have the JWT, I think I said expires. Yes, okay, JWT expires. That's right here. Now, this is real simple. We could do some math if we wanna get exact times. Uh, you could have this be 10 minutes. Uh, if you're working on a bank app or something and you want it to be extra secure, I'm going to say 14 days. I don't want people logging in constantly to this app, so we'll just say 14 days. If you logged in and you didn't log out, your adjacent web token still works on my site. No problem there. So we have those two things. Let's just bring them in uh, right on top. 
So const jwt underscore secret, uh, that will equal process.env.jwt secret, perfect. And const jwt expires will equal process dot env dot jwt expires perfect so now what we're saying is i want you to send the person whose id is this a json web token encoded through my secret and i want it to expire in jwt expires which was 14 days for me i'll save that and i have my signed jwt token Next, we're going to send this token to the user. So I'm going to say, uh, we'll say send uh, token, send token. And we're going to take in the user. So that would come from the sign up here. We're going to get the user, the status code. So that's a, that's a part of the response. Um, and we could send the status code through that if we want different status codes, uh, whether we sign up or whether we log in, because uh, we'll still be sending a token either way. So I'd like to be able to send different status codes, one meaning created and one meaning uh, successful, logged in, uh, just so that we have uh, that handled, different, different status codes. So request and res are the end of that statement that's all of the arguments and in here we'll start to get to work so let's make a token cons token and it'll be the json web token um, signature so sign jwt and from there we'll pass it the user remember we brought in the user here uh, so we'll do the user dot id is what we will pass into here where it just says id and we'll store the sign token in token. And now we just have to work on our response. The first thing is res.cookie. Because we are sending back our JSON web token into the person's cookies. So into the cookies of the browser. We will name it JWT. We'll call it a JSON web token. We could call it something else if you'd like to. I'm going to call it JWT, just like what I required on top, the JWT. And we're going to pass the token. So the value of JWT will be this token here. And now we just have to pass in, I hate when that comes on the screen, doesn't let you read what I'm writing. And now we just have to pass in a few options I'm going to do just two of them now. There are quite a few and they can make things uh, a little safer in your app. I'm gonna make an expires and that'll be a new date. And this is pretty simple to do. Just date.now is going to give you the date right now. And then I just wanna add on to it the JWT expires. So it's going to expire now plus 14 days in our case. Now after that, get that out of your way again, we're going to do secure true. And there's actually one more I think is pretty important for this. Let's just do HTTP only and make that true as well. So this makes it so that it can't be edited in the front end. Uh, so we have control over that token as the server here, and that's what we're setting in this. Now with that set up, we need to send information back to the user, to the client. What we don't want in that information is user.password, which is there right now. We're, so we passed user in. So user.password, I'm gonna change to uh, just undefined. So there will be no user.password. That's very, very, very important. We don't wanna be exposing people's passwords. Uh, and then let's uh, send the response, response.status. We will do the status code that we pass into here, whether it be 201 or I think 200 are the two codes that we'll use. And then we will do our JSON response. And our JSON response will be an object because we have a few things, we'll have the status. Um, and let's call it success uh, if we did well. We have a successful status. And we have the token. We really don't need to pass this token here, but mine as well. Um, we'll, we'll probably take this out later. I really don't want them having their token available like that. 
and the user, but this is all we have to pass, so we'll pass a status token and user back. Okay, so we have now our send token. Now our send token isn't doing anything right now, and that would be because we haven't called it in our exports. So this was the sign JWT, and this we don't need here. This is actually going to come up here. We see sign JWT. I was using this to kind of explain where we're getting the information from, so please delete this from your file. We don't need it right here, but we do need something else right here. And instead of the sign JWT function, we want the send token function. So send token. And what we'll pass in there is the new user. And everything else that we need to pass in is defined in here. So we want the status code, request, and response. So let's get those in there. Status code for this will be 201. Request will be the request, and response will be the response. If we create a user and it works properly, we give it the email and the encrypted bcrypt hashed password, and we create a send token. Now the send token, the send token will try to sign itself, try to sign a token, which is up here, and return the signed token here in this const called token. In the request.cookies, we will send them a token labeled JWT, and it will expire in uh, 14 days from now. It is secure and it is HTTP only. We set up our back end now for sign up and we're ready to go on it. We just have to go to our front end, which we will do in the next video, and hit this API endpoint and make our first user. All right, thanks for being with me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one.